Women are not without electrical, not, not allowed, not without electoral, electoral. Kamala and I are committed to strengthening legal immigration. Then I had to take executive action. The result of the executive action I took, border encounters have dropped over 50 percent. In fact, there are fewer border crossings today than when Donald Trump left office. You know, we have a thousand trillion, we have a thousand billionaires in America. Trump wants to cut Social Security and Medicare. That was my daughter. Those, trust, those protesters out in the street, they have a point. A lot. He had the two lines that I think made news. Number one, those protesters outside have a point. And then he went on to say on both sides, he had lived that line. And then he said toward the end, he said, all that talk that I was angry to step down, it's not true. That was not in the prompter either. When I say we, I mean Kamala and me. Kamala, 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 Kamala. What Kamala I've done. We've had one of the most extraordinary four years of progress ever. Thank you, Kamala. Thank you, Kamala, too. Selecting Kamala is the best decision I made my whole career. I've made, I've made a lot of mistakes in my career. He's promising a bloodbath if he loses in his words. Kamala and Tim will make the child care tax rate a permanent. America first doctrine changed our whole image in the world. Well, I spent, they gave the hours, about 190 hours, some total. They were my counterparts or heads of state in Europe to strengthen NATO. And Kamala and Tim will continue to take on corporate greed and bring down cost of food. We know from his own chief of staff, a four-star General John Kelly, that Trump, when in Europe, would not go to the grave sites in one of the, in France, the brave service members who gave their lives to this country. He called them suckers and losers. Who in the hell does he think he is? Who does he think he is? There's no words for a person. They're not the words of a person. Trump continues to lie about the border. Here's what he won't tell you. Trump killed the strongest bipartisan border deal in the history of the United States. And America is safer today than under Donald Trump. Trump continues to lie about crime in America. They're the ones we're going to bring back. Well, during the pandemic, Kamala and I helped states and cities get back their schools back open. And guess who cast the tie-breaking vote? Vice President, soon to be President Kamala Harris. That's not hyperbole. Is because Medicare no longer has to pay those exorbitant prices to the big farmer. But look, well, thank you, Kamala, too. We've gone from economic crisis to the strongest economy in the entire world. Record 16 million new jobs. Record small business growth. Record high stock market, record high 401ks, wages up, inflation down, way down, and continuing to go down. When I say we, I mean Kamala and me. And America, where everyone has a fair shot and hate has no safe harbor. The president was asked what he thought had happened. Donald Trump said, and I quote, there are very fine people on both sides. My God. That's what he said. That is what he said and what he meant. Let me ask you, are you ready to vote for freedom? Are you ready to vote for democracy and for America? Let me ask you, are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walz, President and Vice President of the United States?